Hello everyone. Uh, today, let's see how we can install OpenShift logging by deploying OpenShift Elasticsearch and logging operator. So uh, Elasticsearch operator creates and manage the uh, Elasticsearch cluster using OpenShift logging. Whereas OpenShift logging operator creates and manage the components of the logging stack. So let's go and install the Elasticsearch operator. First click on that um, operator and the uh, operator hub. Search Elasticsearch operator. Here is the OpenShift Elastic Search Operator. You can install. Yeah. Select 4.6 as an update channel. Ensure all namespaces on the cluster is selected. So make sure that we installed in the namespace called OpenShift Operators Red Hat. The reason for choosing OpenShift Operators Red Hat is OpenShift Operators namespace might contain community operators, which could publish a metric with the same name as the OpenShift Container Platform metric. And it can create conflicts. And let's put the approval strategy automatic the automatic strategy will allow operator lifecycle manager to automatically update the operator when a new version is available. If we choose a manual strategy, user has to approve the operator update. Let's click on install. Operator is installed. Let's click on view operator. Yeah, see the elastic search operator is installed. Let's go and install that cluster logging operator. You click on OpenShift logging. Click on install. You select 4.6 as update channel. Choose to install this operator in a specific namespace called OpenShift logging. Approval strategy automatic, click install. Let's see the operator. See cluster logging operator is installed. So now we'll create a cluster logging instance. So for that, we need to switch to the custom resource definition page. Let's go there. On the custom resource definition page, 
let's search the cluster logging. Click on view instances and create a cluster logging instances. Let's update the YAML file. We are mentioning the storage class, the storage size, request memory, and the configuration for Kibana curator and fluent. Let's create it. So here is our uh, cluster is CRD, cluster resource definition. We created instances for cluster logging. Okay. So this is the YAML file. Okay. We can see that FlowND all nodes are running. So we'll go and check the pod. So see everything is running. Cluster logging operator, elastic search, pods, fluent, everything is logging. Yeah, we can see here we have uh, Kivana open. We can search with um, whatever the namespace we want to see, right? So let me search some criteria here. I'll add a filter here. So Kubernetes namespace is one of, uh, this is the namespace we have our workload running. So this is our dashboard, we'll click here. Okay, so we add, so we'll add a couple of more things. What are the things we need to see? Maybe we need to see the pod names. Okay, pod names are coming. We want to see the messages, messages coming. That's so we can uh, customize um, the view. Can go to the Grafana. You can see our workloads here. So it is taking from the Prometheus and all the deployment of our workloads and whatever we have uh, workloads running in this this project, this namespace. We can see the CPU, deployment, memory usage, everything we can monitor from here.
So we reviewed Grafana dashboard. We reviewed Kivana dashboard. We, inst we saw how to install Elastic Search and Logging Operator.